Hey guys, fishing and stuff. Today, as you guessed, we're making planer boards. I use planer boards a lot, especially when catfishing. The set of planer boards I have cost 55 bucks. And today, I'm doing a DIY to show you how to make some planer boards for less than 20. Planter boards are a very effective way to spread your lines out so they don't get tangled up and you can cover more water at one time. What you'll need is some release clips. You'll need some type of styrofoam, which I reused some styrofoam I was throwing away. Coated it with three coats of acrylic paint. I bought some four inch aluminum bolts, which I cut the heads off of and drilled a hole in them to attach my release clip. You could use threaded rod, which would be even cheaper. I found a piece of aluminum at the scrapyard. It's 22 inches by seven inches, and it's 18 gauge. It's a little dirty and beat up. It was at the scrapyard laying on the ground, but luckily I noticed after I got it home that it's laminated, so I won't have to do too much sanding. I got a bunch of free styrofoam left over from Christmas presents. So a little piece of styrofoam this size at a craft store costs you three dollars i think the the aluminum i got about a dollar and 40 cent or two dollars in it or something like that i bought it for scrap weight it's hard to find aluminum bolts i found these on amazon i think they call them prairie bolts i'm not sure what they use them for i don't need the head anyway i'm going to be cutting that off to attach my clips to if you're catfishing, you're pulling a lot of weight, you need a strong clip. I'm gonna round the edge off, so I just set the tape on there, take some paint, paint it. I just cut the paint off now and I'm good. basic form for a planter board and they measure nine inches by four inches
Okay guys, I put another coat on the styrofoam. I got aluminum bolts because they were way lighter than threaded rod. We're gonna use the threaded end and we're gonna cut the heads off and we'll have to drill a hole in it for the clips. Foam's painted and dried. I got some quick set epoxy. I'm gonna mix up. It's from Harbor Freight, not very expensive. And I have tested some of this on Styrofoam and it didn't melt it, so I think we're good. turned out pretty good if I don't say so myself I like them Matthew Anthony another youtuber put out a video last week about making planer boards too and well, I'm gonna leave a link in the description box to his video and you go check it out he had a great idea if you don't want to make your own foam for the top of the planer board you can go to Waterbug site which is another planer board company they sell replacement foam for planer boards you can buy you a couple pieces of replacement foam and just use it instead of making your own if you hadn't yet click subscribe and hit the like button if you liked it and i'll see you next time